What's going on Salt Strong Nation? Today we are gonna to be talking about a new type of anchor that I've been using that's been helping me get on some more fish. This is a brush anchor. The specific one I'm showing you right now is made by Yak Gear. Uh, it's called their brush gripper, um, but it, it's the proper term for these types of anchors are brush anchors. And the way you use them is you know, you just clip it onto a mangrove tree, uh, the branch that's coming out, an oyster bar cluster, uh, some Spartina grass, and I'll show you guys some examples later in the video of me using it. In fact, it actually helped me catch my personal best flounder uh, recently and I don't think if I was using the brush grippers and I was you know maybe using trying to use a stick it pole or a traditional anchor I would not have caught that fish so this is a very unique type of anchor that's very stealthy very quick to use has a lot of pros uh, there are a couple cons I'll talk about later on in the video but I'll show you guys how to set this up uh, it does not come straight out of the box ready to use uh, like I said we'll go over some footage of me using it and give you guys a full scope of knowledge of everything there is to know about brush anchors so getting into setting this guy up, let's go ahead and pull him out of the package. Basically all you've got in pretty much any package, uh, the Yak Gear I know comes with the tether rope. Some other manufacturers that make these may not come with it. Uh, this is a nice piece of paracord right here. And then you've obviously got the actual grippers themselves. You can see they've got the nice teeth right here. And once we go ahead and rig this up, you'll be able to see how, exactly how this works. Essentially the rope is gonna work as a tension and a tether uh, for when you grip down on something. Uh, so essentially all you need to do is just make sure you've got your rope stretched out here go ahead and get it you know make sure there's no twists or tangles in it and go ahead and start threading it through the grippers themselves now on the back you'll see that there is a tension wrench and what you essentially just need to do is take the end of one of the ropes and just slide it right through there and there's going to be a couple bolts that you're going to encounter you can see them by these little stainless steel um, circles right here and just go ahead and slide them right under the bolts it's important that they thread through there properly uh, there's two of them and then what's going to happen is it's going to come right out the front of the jaw so once you've got it out the front make sure you give yourself a little bit of room to go right back through on the other side so i i would recommend flipping it um, and just like i said run it back through those bolts make sure that it's going through there so we've got one bolt done and then we're gonna run it through the second here now. And this is uh, where it starts to get a little bit tough on setting this up. If you need a pen or something a little bit sharper, you know, that you can help push this thing through uh, the back end, we're gonna go right back through that tension rent, uh, the tension spring. Essentially, just all you need to do, you might be able to just do it, you know, with your fingers, if you, uh, you can kind of push it a little bit, uh, but just run it through the back of this spring and continue to push. So now we've got it pushed through the back end of the tension spring. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is take the two tag ends and make sure that they're at equal lengths. And what you'll have here is a nice clean loop right between the jaws. Now how this is gonna function is when you clamp onto something and you start pulling away, this will be tethered to your kayak, it's gonna lock down as you can see right on those jaws. So it just creates a really nice tension uh, and it'll keep you really secure. So one of the last steps you gotta do is make a overhand loop about four or five inches away from the handle. And essentially all you gotta do is just take this and wrap it around. Like I said, four or five inches away is best. What that's gonna do is help create a secure connection um, that, between this loop up here uh, and the back handle. Um, so it's just gonna keep that tautness in your line. When you go to set up on something, make sure you've got it nice and tight. As you can see, about four or five inches away. And uh, you know, when you pull up, it'll just make sure that it doesn't go back too far uh, and it just doesn't you know, continue. And then you, know, you tighten up on whatever it is you're secured on. And then you'll go ahead and make another one up here just to make sure that you've got, again, a good secure connection. Now, the last thing that you need to do, what I use is a carabiner. There's a lot of different things you can use. It's really up to you. Um, I like this because you know I can clip it onto one side of my kayak. I can clip it onto the other ring on the other side. I can clip it to my anchor trolley. You've got a lot of options with one of these carabiner rings. Uh, and you can use a lot of different knots to secure it on the end of this tether. I'm just gonna go ahead and use an overhand knot just for simplicity here. And it'll work um, in terms of strength. But if we just go here, like I said, we're gonna take those two tag ends, create a nice little overhand knot. And boom, you've got yourself a brush anchor now. So this is a really awesome tool for anchoring up really quickly. I'll give you guys some pros and cons of this. The pro obviously is the quickness. 
Um, with traditional anchors, you got to pull it up out of the back, you know, drop it. It could be loud. Um, so, you know, there's, that's another pro right there. This is really stealthy. Uh, you're not going to make a lot of noise. Everything is out of the water unless, you know, you're going to clamp onto a clump of oysters or something of that nature um, or a submerged branch or something like that. A very, very stealthy, uh, very quick, a lot faster even than a stick it pole. You know, you have to unclip your stick it pole, turn it around, stick it into your anchor trolley, um, make sure that it's secure in the mud. Uh, or the sand, wherever it is you're, you're putting it into. This is the fastest uh, and stealthiest option in terms of anchoring. Um, I, I like it a lot. It's really versatile. You can move it around on your kayak uh, really fast as well. Um, in terms of cons, a lot of things that you're going to clip onto are not going to be as secure as what you would use, you know, for your stick it anchor or your traditional anchor itself. So if you clip onto some Spartina grass, you know, I wouldn't want to, you know, hang on to that for more than 10, 15 minutes uh, because it's going to end up uprooting the grass itself. The oyster clumps, you know, as you're sitting in really heavy current could become uprooted as well. A mangrove branch might be the most secure thing you could use this on, but you've still got the possibility of, you know, breaking the branch. So this is a very great anchor for a run and gun style of fishing like I have. I'm usually moving around a lot. I don't stick in a, a spot for, you know, more than 10, 15 minutes if I'm not seeing action. Um, so, you know, I, I don't need to stay in a prolonged period, um, you know, while I'm using this anchor. So it suits my style of fishing very well, but if you're doing live bait fishing or, you know, you have a slower approach, this might not be the anchor for you. Uh, and then for boats as well, this might not be uh, the greatest anchor to use. Like I said, a lot of the stuff you're, you're going to hook onto is pretty flimsy. So it, unless you can find something that's very, very secure because your boat's going to weigh a lot more, I would not recommend using this anchor. But like I said, if you're in a kayak and you have a run and gun style of fishing, this is a very quick and stealthy option to anchor up your kayak. Now, I will definitely say that if I was using a, a different you know, anchor system, I would be catching a little bit less fish in certain areas. And I'll give you guys an example of that. Um, I'm gonna show you a video here in a second. I was moving down a creek that had some really heavy current. Uh, it was a very deep channel. I don't even know if a stick it pole would have gotten to the bottom of it, uh, but there was a grass line right over to my right. And all I had to do was quickly clip this anchor, very stealthy, You know, even if I had dropped a, a traditional anchor, it could have spooked away the fish that I ended up catching with this anchor it was actually my personal best flounder so uh it, it was a really awesome uh you know demonstration of how well this can work and how versatile it is uh, even in you know really quick situations having to grab onto a grass line and heavy current around a lot of structures so i'll go ahead and show you guys that now so you can see how well this guy works so here I am approaching position on that creek and I wanted to feel this area out a little bit so that's why I pulled out the brush grippers and I'll go ahead and speed the clip up. I actually ended up making two casts uh, and really all I did was work that first stock you know, really quickly and then I wanted to make that second cast. Again, I was in heavy current so it was really important that I had this brush anchor and uh, you'll see why here in a second. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So as you guys saw, this was an essential part of catching that flounder. I was able to get really close to that grass line, stay in position, even in heavy current. Uh, and I was able to make the cast exactly where I wanted to, pull that fish out of there. Uh, and even while I was fighting it, you know, it kept me right in position. So this is a great tool if you have a run and gun style of fishing. To recap, you know, it might not be great if you want to stay in an area for a prolonged period of time because the things that you might be anchoring on might not be super secure. I, I have uprooted myself uh, while holding on to some grass. That grass is not in there super deep. Uh, but you know, if you're just there for a couple of minutes, like up to 10 minutes, this is an essential tool for you to have, you know, as you're moving around. Very quick, very stealthy. Uh, so I would definitely recommend adding it to your loadout if you're a kayak fisherman who fishes kind of like I do, that run and gun style of fishing. So if you guys enjoyed this review, uh, please give this video a like. If you want, have any other questions about this kayak tool uh, or any others that you'd like for me to check out, please leave them in the comment section below and I can respond to you there and get working on some of these other reviews. Uh, but if you guys want to learn how to become a better fisherman, find those right fishing spots like I did with that flounder and just become a better angler overall, I highly recommend you check out the Salt Strong Insider Club. 
The Salt Strong Insider community has courses and tips designed to help you become a more efficient and consistent saltwater angler. And we also have reports from local anglers in your area to help you keep up with the trends and a guarantee that it will help you catch more fish or it's free. Now, with all the money that you'll be saving on rods, reels, lures, and tackle with your Insider Club discount in the shop, the membership pretty much pays for itself. So guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wet alive